front and rear panel. First, we see that there is a 7 inches high resolution touch screen. On top, it is a navigation menu for fast selection. It has 8 different sections, including 1 to 16 input, 01 and 02 input and USB, 4 effectors, 8 aux output, 4 matrix output, 8 DSA group, 2 lines main output and 1 stereo monitor. Under the screen, there are 4 push buttons. From left to right, they are routing, USB, default, and home. On the right, the main encoder is with two modes. One is for fast adjustment, and when you push down on the top of the encoder, it will go for fine adjustment. With these two fast switch buttons under to previous and next, it will be easier and quicker for your setup. Here we have the sign push button for fast enter. Four mute group push buttons, double push to turn on or off. When it is red means it's mute on. Under it, we have eight user defined knobs and four push buttons. This is for adjustment of the channel volume and mute. You can push the button to enter the user defined interface to DIY those knobs and push buttons. The USB connector is for Wi-Fi adapter, Bluetooth adapter, and USB stick. Wi-Fi adapter for connection with iPad wireless control, Bluetooth and USB for music playing. When you use a USB for recording, the indicator will turn red when it's working. Please note that the USB play cannot work with Bluetooth at the same time. The last one is a monitor earphone connector and volume knob. And also, we check the rear panel. It has 22 lines input. They are 16 lines combi connectors with 48 volt phantom power, 2 TRS stereo and 1 USB or Bluetooth stereo input. 18 lines output. They are 8 XLR mono, 4 TRS mono matrix, 1 XLR stereo, 1 USB stereo recording and 1 stereo monitor. Internet and pedal switch connectors, we will update these two functions in future update.